quiet. Listen close. That sounds like a very unhappy motor. I didn't crash, didn't do anything crazy, just flying around, enjoying the scenery. Let's get in there and see what happened. Now we can take the motor base and see how well these bearings spin. Yep, top bearing is good. Ooh. The bottom bearing is, is, is dead. Do you guys hear that? All right, looks like that motor bearing is fairly pressed in, so we'll have to take the motor off and use a press. We'll try out this press. I typically use this more for uh, larger motors, but I think it'll help with this little stubborn Zing motor as well. I got this off Amazon, I'll link in the description. All right, so the bearing's out, but it went underneath the desk. Here we got a set of new bearings. These are nine by four by four. They should be the same size. Okay. So we got the bearing started by hand. So I pushed it in as far as I could get it in myself. We protected the base. We don't want to crush these windings here. And the best way to do this is to find something that will allow you to press down on the outer ring, the outer race, without pushing down the center. And this looks like it's the right size. The bearing is in. All right, take your screw, make sure you got some Loctite on there. There you go. All right, so we ended up going through every single motor and three of them had one or more bad bearings. All those have been replaced and we're good to go. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment.